Hi guys, Captain Nick here with Marine Max St. Petersburg. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in every single week. If you never want to miss another boot walkthrough again, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and let's have some fun. What do we have today? We've got the first ever Aquila 36 Hydrofoil Edition, something I'm really excited about driving, a lot of anticipation around it. So let's hop on and have some fun. Follow me guys. The number one word that comes to my mind on a 36 Aquila is versatility. You can see over here how we have this set up for yourself and maybe another couple. Conversate up here. Come on over here to the starboard side. You can see that I have it set up as a sun pad lounger for those days where you're just kind of enjoying the sunshine. A couple other features I'm going to point out is going to be the windless automatic anchor hauler. Tucked away, well appointed up here. Nice gray sea deck up here, nice and cool, doesn't get very hot. Of course, underneath that too is gonna to be plenty of bow storage inside this hatch. Behind me, you guys are gonna notice something that's a little bit different than maybe the average 36 Aquila that you may have seen before. And that is that this one has the fully enclosed windshield. Keep the AC in, I think it looks really sharp. Serves a purpose too, especially on those crossings over to Bahamas where mother nature is not cooperating. And up top here, you notice a spotlight, Raymarine radar already equipped. Follow me inside and let's get down to business. If you would follow me down here into the port side stateroom, got the AC cranking, feels nice to get out of the sun, get out of that heat. Got a nice bed up forward here. Plenty of headroom up top. And one of the most surprising and innovative things on a 36 Aquila is a separate head from the stateroom. Come check it out. One of the biggest problems on 36 footers is if you do want to stay somewhere for the whole entire weekend and you want to bring the kids, the grandkids, or another couple, you have one of two options. You can either leave them at home or put them in a hotel somewhere. However, that is not the case with two separate staterooms for privacy. Come check out the mirroring one on the starboard side. Going to have a whole other side for privacy right here. Only different on the starboard side is you are going to have your breaker panel, access to your generator, all of your switches. Once again, take a look over here. Got a brilliant view. Say hi to Shamu, Flipper, Free Willy. Sky is the limit. Up here at the helm, nice diamond stitch upholstery. Very comfortable to sit in, especially if you consider doing very long rides across the ocean. This particular model is equipped with joystick already. Dual Raymarine screen, so you don't need to split everything up. Vessel view, of course, and all the other Mercury digital throttle shift features. If you like to entertain, your search is over. Come on over here to the co-captain's chair. Forward facing, as you can see. We're bringing on back to this full-size dining area. You, four other family members, you're not gonna feel super crowded. And while I'm down here, I need to point out something. This particular model is equipped with cockpit air conditioning, which feels great right here, by the way. Pointing out a couple more features that make this the perfect weekend vacation machine. Over here. <clears throat> Got a nice canyon induction cooktop. Got a mirror, of course. Check yourself out. Make sure you're always looking good. For that meal prep, of course, we got a sink. Flips up. Fridge down here, storage over here. And of course, check out this enclosure. We got it open right now because we got a nice breeze. However, when it's not so nice out or it's scorching hot, you bring that down and that cockpit AC, as we mentioned earlier, is really gonna be cool all the time. Back here in the aft cockpit, I have not pointed it out yet, but you guys have probably noticed the abundance of speakers throughout the whole boat. Keep the tunes cranking, keep the party going no matter where you are. Over here, we've got another nice grill top by Kenyon, of course also the finest in the business. Down here, another fridge. It's where you're gonna keep the beers cold. Personally, what I like about this boat, what I also think is unique, is you have the best of both worlds. With the grill over there and the full seat over here, 
you kind of can do a little bit of everything, especially when you have access doors on each side of the boot, not just one. And up top, you're gonna notice a rack for your paddleboard. Got a retractable swim ladder, very easy to operate. Very spacious, lots of room, even a rearward facing seat. Which brings me to the grand finale, the twin Mercury 350 horsepower Verados. You're gonna see why I'm so fired up about that in just one minute. Why are we out here right now? Obviously to shoot a video for you at home, but the real reason for me, I just wanted to drive this boot. As mentioned earlier, this is the first hydrofoil model, so the real magic is gonna happen when you're underway. Let's go for a ride. Gets up and goes really smoothly. And on top of having a speed that's increased up into the mid 40s, you're also gonna have increased fuel efficiency. Like right now, 25 knots, getting up there towards 30 miles an hour. Each engine is burning around 13 gallons per hour. Putting the foil on this boat's gonna be a big hit. And it's definitely a hit within a naval architecture world. Now, if you guys have any other questions on this Aquila 36 with the foil, or perhaps one in stock without it, come on down, Marine Max St. Petersburg Aquila Hub of the United States of America, and let's get you and your family out of the water. Once again, I'm Captain Nick Pavlakis. Thanks for joining me, and until next time, I'm signing off.